Hey there, it's Erica here with Elevase.com and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make bone broth from scratch in a slow cooker. So today I am using a, an awesome slow cooker. Um, this is the Vita Clay and I love this slow cooker because it's a non-toxic slow cooker and um, my husband and I, Dr. Isaac, we actually made a video recently about um, four toxic mistakes to avoid when you're making bone broth, but one of those things is a toxic slow cooker. So a lot of slow cookers have glaze on the inside of them, and this glaze is often a dark glaze, and oftentimes it's contaminated with lead, which is a heavy metal, a known neurotoxin, and can cause all kinds of health issues, including weight loss resistance. So as much as possible, we wanna stay away from things like heavy metals and lead, and what I love about the Vita clay is that it's un unglazed clay on the inside, so I don't have to worry about any um, chemicals or heavy metals leaching into my food. There's no nonstick coatings, nothing like that. Again, those are chemicals that we don't want in our food as well. And what I love about it is it's made from natural Zisha clay, which is naturally uh, alkalizing, so it improves nutrient absorption in the body, it helps to release nutrients from the food, foods that are cooked in it, and it also doesn't get too hot, so this also preserves nutrients as we're cooking the food. So this is what I'm gonna be using today, and it's super easy to um, assemble. You basically just drop this ceramic clay pot down into this um, cooker here. So what I've already done is I've roasted my um, bone broth bones, as well as some vegetables. So you can see here, I've got about four beef knuckle bones. It's about two pounds total. And um, I've got some carrots, some celery, some garlic and onion that I roasted on here with it. And the reason for that is because it brings out that great flavor, especially if you're using it for soups and stews. It's really, really nice. And so you can see on this piece of parchment paper, this white here, this is the fat. This is the good healthy fat that's been released from the bones. Um, I can see it here because I'm, I'm closer to it, but you can see that fat that's coming out on the inside. That's also gonna get released as we cook this low and slow um, over a period of time. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this down and take all of this. I'm just gonna drop these bones in here first. Just place these inside of the cooker. So I'll put those bones on the bottom. And once you, when you immediately take this out of the oven, this is all liquidy, but this has been sitting here for a while, so the fat has solidified. But I wanna scrape up all that good, healthy fat. So if you can see that, that white, thick stuff there, that's deliciousness. That's good, healthy fat that's got the collagen, the gelatin, those, those great properties that help to heal leaky gut, help to improve skin elasticity, skin hydration, help to retain moisture in the skin for great anti-aging effects. So we're just gonna, just gonna take the rest of this up. And I'm just gonna scrape this paper off as much as I can into this pot. So you may wanna do a little bit better job of scraping, but for time's sake, that's what I'm gonna do for now. What you also want to do is add some apple cider vinegar to the pot as well. So whether you're using a, a Vita clay like this or you're using another slow cooker, a healthy slow cooker, you want to add a, t a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This helps to release the minerals from inside of the bones. So usually what I do is I cover this with water for, um, I'll show you about how high I, I take it, probably up to the 4.0 line here. Um, that's as many liters, so four liters inside, because you want a good amount of broth when you're making your batch. I'm gonna go grab my water right now. And we just moved into this house, so we don't have our whole house filtration system installed yet, but for now I'm just gonna use some filtered water. That's better than just using the tap. And so I'm just gonna cover the bones. I'm probably gonna go to the three liter mark. Cover them up to the three liter, uh, 3.25 liter mark. So you want your bones and vegetables nice and covered up and you wanna use filtered water um, of some kind. I know a lot of the bottled waters aren't, you know, as great as we may think that they are, but um, anything better than tap water where you've got, you know, different chemicals and um, antibiotics and stuff like that that's inside the water. So. Um, filtered water whenever possible. So now I'm gonna get the lid to this and put it on top. 
And if you'll notice on the Vita clay, there's holes here in the top. What we're gonna do is plug these holes in with these guys. These actually help to seal the, um, the heat and moisture in. So clay, this, this clay here, it has um, low thermal conductivity. So it's low heating, but by sealing all of that heat in, it still helps to cut down on the cook time. So whereas before you would have to cook bone broth for 12 to 48 hours on the stove top, this cuts that time down substantially so that we're only gonna be cooking for about four hours. So I'm gonna choose the menu function to where it says slow cook. I'm gonna set it to four hours and they'll come back and check it and that's pretty much it. So once your bone broth is done simmering, you wanna strain out the bone broth, um, the liquid from the bones and the vegetables. And then I like to store it in nice big um, wide mouth mason jars. And so I've had it last for a couple weeks that way. We use it pretty quickly in soups and stews and stuff like that. And some people even like to just drink a cup a day. So if you want more information about the Vita Clay or bone broth and its benefits and how to use it, check out the links below this video. And thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more great videos soon. Bye-bye.